Hi, you folks. Oh, can you see me okay? Make sure that's working. Yeah, it looks to be. Sorry, I had a few tech issues. Uh, I was going to stream a little bit earlier on. I wanted to stream a little bit longer because, you know, Intergrade is out, but unfortunately, the game wouldn't download for me. Well, the game itself downloaded, but I couldn't get Intermission, which is the thing I actually wanted to do. However, don't know why, it randomly worked a couple of hours ago. And even though I've got slow internet, I managed to get the 9 gigabytes uh, downloaded in time for the usual start anyhow. So we couldn't go earlier, but at least we've managed to get started eventually. So can you guys hear me okay? Just want to make sure because I did have to change quite a bit of the stream setup in order to stream or rather to play Integrate here and stream it to you guys. So just to clarify, the Yuffie episode here is only available on the PS5 version of the game. So if you only have the PS4 version, unfortunately, you can't get this. Now, if you do have the PS4 version, you can upgrade to the PS5 version for free, but you do have to pay for the Yuffie episode intermission. So if you have upgraded to the PS5 version, then up at the top right hand corner where it says for me main story to intermission, you'll have a little advert where you can buy the DLC. So I've done that already, which means we can go ahead and start playing. But before we do that, just make sure that everybody in chat is doing good. So greetings to you all. Good to have you back with us, Serene. How are you doing? I trust you are well. And everybody else as well. Hello, Dark Swordsman. How are you? Having a good day, I hope. And J-Man. Anthony. Yeah, no Alan today. How unusual. Hopefully everything's okay there. So yes, welcome to Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS5. We're going to be playing Intermission today. For those of you watching a little bit later on on YouTube, good to have you. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe for future content. That is very supportive, so thank you very much. It is a bit of a strange decision, isn't it, that it's been PS5 only? Well, not that strange. I suppose it's more money for Square if they get a huge exclusivity deal with Sony. But I know it's peed a lot of people off, especially because a lot of people would be happy to play on PS5 if they were able to get their hands on one, which of course many still are not. Hello Elijah, how are you doing? But that's the way it is. So, without any further ado guys, I have no idea what to expect by the way, I have not played this at all. And I've tried to avoid videos, I've seen the Square trailers, but that's about it. So, I haven't watched any of the gameplay. I do want to go into this as fresh as possible. Oh, no, I know what you mean, Dark Swordsman. The same happened to me as well. It only lasts for a couple of days, mate. Nope, I haven't checked anything yet. Right, let's go ahead and make a start. Okay, let's just go for the default. Uh, right, so there is a hard mode, I believe, for the Yuffie episode, but it's not available until later on. So we can only play on normal for now, which is fine. Chapter one. I believe there's two chapters. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. I have seen this bit actually. I think Square released it as part of a trailer or something. Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. 
<laughs> Who is she talking to? Oh, look, it's the cat. Talking to the cat and the pigeons, probably. Okay, right, so, in control of Yuffie, straight off the bat. And it's been a while since I played Final Fantasy VII Remake. Before we actually go any further, let's just have a brief look at the options to make sure that it's all the same as it was in the original game. It looks like it is. We've got Materia and Equipment here. And we currently have Steel, Deadly Dodge, Healing, so, yeah, Parry and Assess. All of the Materia that was available to us previously. I do believe there is new Materia available in this particular expansion that is not available in the main game. And, oh, we can upgrade our weapon, can we? Elemental Ninjutsu. So, if we can, oh, maybe we can't for 16 points. Yep, I think a bit of extra AP isn't going to hurt, so let's just go for that straight off the bat. Allows you to use Mug, why not? And four more points, can we get anything else? Nope, not yet. But that's good. We've got a couple of abilities. Hello, Flare Fox. Yeah, well, we've only just started, so great to have you with us. And yeah, the new music is pretty good, uh, as I expected it to be. I mean, the Yuffie theme and the Wu Time music, it was, you know, it was pretty good in the original game as well. Not some of my favourite themes from Final Fantasy VII, but I'm well into all the remixes and that they've been doing for the remake, so... I did also download a bunch of DLC from the PS4 version. I'm not sure if that comes into Integrate or not. Let's just have a quick look. I don't think so, no, because nothing's available here. So it must only be in the main game. Oh, no, you have to go to DLC, don't you, and, and add it in. Oh, right, so you can add it in. Okay, well, there's a little tip for you guys. I completely forgot, and even though you download it, you have to go to the menu to add it. Onto the save file. Okay, so that's the same stuff that we had in the previous release. Yeah, let's just throw a couple of bits on here. May as well keep the ninja armlet since it seems to have some nice stats on it anyway. And there's a promotion, Serene says, on Red Bulls if you purchase in Japan. You get pins, character pins. Okay. Oh, and a cloud limit. Nice. Right, let's get moving, shall we? I thought I changed the minimap. I'm not a big fan of the tracking minimap thing. I do just like to have the map itself. So if we go to options, gameplay, is it? Oh, I thought static was the right one. Uh, I want to try and bring the map up. Get rid of this thing. Okay, we'll put that on static. What's that setting under? Is it camera? Uh, I want to get rid of the tracking thing at the top of the screen. And just have the map up in the corner like I did in the original. Oh, weird. Doesn't seem to be there as an option. Okay, well, that will have to do for now. Yeah, the music's always top notch, isn't it, for Final Fantasy VII? So, the original soundtrack by Nobuo Uematsu is one of my favourite soundtracks of all time. It really is. Okay, Yuffie can fight effectively both up close and from range. So, is it the same sort of controls as the original game? Press square to strike a foe and hold it to continue attacking. So, yeah, that's pretty, pretty standard stuff. Okay. And, we, okay, we do have our commands menu as well. So, we've got some abilities here. Art of War. Buffet an enemy with blows. Okay. Windstorm, create a gust of wind. Not too bad. Okay, the ability 
Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuffie's square attack while her weapon is away. Right, okay. So this is like a new mechanic, isn't it? A new mechanic that's part of Yuffie's combat style. So it only does it while her weapon is away, though. Okay. We'll have a look at that in a sec. So we can use and temporarily enhance fire ninjutsu. Let's just go for Windstorm to start with. Test out some of these abilities. Right, okay. Windstorm is really powerful. So that's good to know. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right, Dark Swordsman. Uh, Dark Swordsman. Thank you. Yeah, just tap L2 on the controller. Same as the original. And then that will change the map there. I prefer it like this. But that's personal preference, of course. Okay, we can also throw our weapon. Makes sense for Yuffie. Press square while it is away from her to perform, uh, to perform long range ninjutsu attacks. Okay. So let's try this, shall we? So if we target that. Okay, yes. No, I think I've got it. So we throw the weapon and then hold square down and do a whole load of nasty stuff. I love it. Yeah, these guys were in the original game and in the remake. So, cool to see them back. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. So, throw the weapon and then use this special ninjutsu stuff. Or we could just go ahead and attack and use it. Okay, didn't even need to use ATB for that. Hello, Phantom. So, the controls are clearly... Very similar to the controls in the original FF7 remake for battle. But there are also some differences as well that are unique to Yuffie here. Which is what I expected. I suspect as well when Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 comes out, they'll be innovated on even further. Yes, yes they are, Flare Fox. You're absolutely right there. Oh, have I just come back the wrong way? <laughs> That's me blabbering on, isn't it? Okay. So, yeah, I'm enjoying this already. It's nice to get back into Final Fantasy VII Remake. I've not played it since getting the Platinum Trophy. Uh, oh, right. Okay, we can destroy those boxes as well with our throwing weapon. Yep. I'll tell you what. Yeah, they've done a great job on realising Yuffie in for the remake here. I know that we've only just started. But this is pretty much, you know, in terms of combat and that, how I imagine she would have played. Hey, a high potion. Yeah, I've been enjoying the original Final Fantasy VII recently. Although with the new threat mod, we'll be getting back to that once we've completed... Uh, remake integrate here. I won't be playing the original. At least I've got no plans to play the original remake. Since we did already get the platinum for that. Okay, I'm guessing Yuffie's going to be pretty good at attacking flying enemies. And let's see what Art of Storm is like. Very powerful. I like it. Okay, wind attacks. Try and dodge those. And again. This ninjutsu thing seems to be more of a close range attack, does it? So if I throw the weapon here... Oh, try and dodge tornado. Darn it. Uh, is wind one of those abilities you can't attack? Some of the elements... Oh, sorry, you can't dodge. Some of the elements you can't dodge, can you? Trying to get things staggered and then we'll unleash Art of War or something. Or Windstorm. It's got to be good. Yep, perfect. Yes, I do have plans to upload this to YouTube. So I'm sure many of you watching this will be watching it later on YouTube. So welcome to you guys as well. Oh, what's that, cowboy? Two days. 
Uh, integrates out in the US, isn't it? As well. Yep, let's just throw a cure here. And check for any lovely loot lurking around the place. So, in terms of the timeline, I do believe this is taking place at the same time that Cloud is trotting around Midgar as well. Huh? Oh no, fair enough, Phantom. I suppose school has to come first, doesn't it? No palm. Yeah, is that Marco? But what's he doing here? Mind you, I suppose he goes where he needs to go, doesn't he? You okay? Anybody home? <sighs> yeah, I'm guessing everything that's happening here was not supposed to happen in the original Final Fantasy VII. Rather than it happened and we just didn't know about it type of thing. Okay, got to get the elevator moving. Right. Okay, we can use the switch. Can we chat to Marco? Or whoever it is? Oh, it's a different number, yeah. Oh, yes, you're right. You can just about see the tattoo there, can't we? Number 11. What number's the other dude? So this is one of the other clone things. I don't like calling them clones because that's not what they are. That's just a bad translation, really, from the original game. But it is the terminology we've been given. So, Oh, 49. That's the one. Okay. Okay. So, it looks like Yuffie's going to be a versatile party member once she joins up with Cloud and the others in the next game. Activating all these switches and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, these guys are weak to ice. I don't think I have any ice at the moment, though, do I? No. I've got Fire Ninjutsu, but apparently we can change this. if we can steal any good stuff from them. Oh, an antidote. Good if you're poisoned, I suppose. Yeah, got to get the victory theme in there. Yeah, yeah, that Yuffie post... Uh, not Yuffie post, a Moogle poster is uh, pretty, pretty funny, isn't it? Okay, a little bit of parkour because why not? Yeah, I'm looking forward to part two. I'm still completely unsure what sort of direction they're going to take it in. Looks like we've got two ways we can go. Pop down the ladder here. Maybe we should do that first on the basis that I assume we've got to come back out of this building. Okay, this is where we was or something. I'm getting lost already because that's the elevator there. Let's just go this other way. No, no, this isn't the next game. This is a new, uh, an expansion or DLC for the first game. So it is new what we're playing, but it's not an entire new game. It's not Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two, which is still very much in active development and probably won't be with us for a while yet. So this is just to tie us over and Square have confirmed that they don't have any plans to continue making DLC. Oh, we've got some power wrist guards. So, this is sort of like a one-off episode. Mainly in order to, I guess, give a little bit of new content for the PS5 version. Right. Increase strength by 5%. Or I could keep the Mako Crystal, which reduces elemental damage. I might do that. A little bit of extra defense is probably not going to be a bad thing there. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty neat. And doesn't Barrett do it in the original? 
When I say the original, I mean Final Fantasy VII Remake still, but not the DLC. Yeah, it's very possible, Serene. It is very possible. Hey, Sano, thank you so much for the sub. And also, thank you, Scott. I noticed that you dropped a sub in just before I came onto the mic as well. So thanks, guys, for that. Yeah, what is it with Square's naming conventions? Intergrade, intermission. I mean, yeah, they technically sort of make sense. I mean, intermission is a funny play on words, seeing as how it's an additional mission that we're playing. And intermission is, of course, you know, the break between the two parts. But uh, they just don't like to keep things simple, do they? Yeah, oh yes, Serene. All those codes that you gave out to the community, yeah, they still work on the PS5 version. You do have to download them again, but it, as long as they're on your account, then you don't have to add them or anything. Yeah, fair enough, uh, Jessid. Yeah, certainly, to each their own. Yeah, I'm still unsure, as I say, where Square are going to be taking part two. Because, you know, I'm not going to give spoilers. I'm sure most of you know it all anyway. But the ending of part one just makes it seem like they're going to be taking it into a whole new direction. But I'm pretty sure they've said they're not doing that. So, as I've said before, I hope whatever they're doing, they've got a plan and they're going to stick to it. And not change things around like Disney do with Star Wars or something. Just because of people saying they want this or want that. Because the whole thing just ends up as a complete mess if they try and... Uh, you know, fiddle with things as they've already made their plans and stuff. Oh yeah, that'll be coming, Serene. That'll be coming. It took a while to get the other characters on there, though, so they don't rush those things. Uh, what are we doing? Are we just heading up here? I guess so. Ladders are there to be climbed, so... By the way, hopefully this is working for you guys and the quality is not too bad because I'm not using my Elgato. I couldn't be bothered to unplug all my PS5 from where it's located. So I'm actually only playing this through the Remote Play app on my PC rather than actually doing hardware capture. Oh, there's nothing up here. Yeah, yeah, definitely Venom Bite. Yeah, they need to stick to their guns now, in my opinion. Okay, so we're back to where we started. Oh, that's good, Serene. All right, where the heck am I supposed to go? Can I throw my weapon at anything? Brilliant. Uh, ah. Okay, we need to throw our weapon up there, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks like we need to climb up then a little bit, doesn't it? In order to reach that. Okay, let's get to the top. Still obstructed. Oh, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't have to put any effort in at all then, Anthony. I wouldn't have to actually start engaging my own mind, which is very tired right now. But look at that, I managed it. Are you proud of me? I solved the game's first puzzle. Okay, it wasn't the most complicated puzzle, but... We did it, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> oh look another tattooed dude we just having some fun here on this swing oh nasty nasty having your throat chewed out's never a, a good thing to happen is it I assume anyway never actually had that happen to me 
Oh, right, so we can retrieve our weapon. I see. Wow, these guys hurt a lot. Move, move, move. Let's try and heal up again. Maybe I should use a potion. Okay, so we can throw our weapon and then we can use our... Okay, I've got it now. I've got it. But by golly, do we need to heal. Have no fear, Yuffie here. Yeah, but the more on controlling us, the problem. Right. Oh, dodged it. Nasty. I think we're going to die here. Because I haven't got any ATB to heal. Okay, I did manage to dodge an attack then, which was just at the right time. I need to actually start using ATB, though, on doing damage. Ah, limit. Yeah, limit. Let's do uh, Wayward Wolf B. We might kill Wayward Wolf A anyhow. Nice. I like it. I like it. That was a tough fight. But we did it. That's gratitude for you, robed man. Yeah, I'll give you, uh, ah, last time I save your butt. Yeah, that was a fun fight. I'll tell you what, they threw you right in at the deep end there. I was not expecting that at all. That was a challenging encounter. Thank you, Flare Fox. That almost was like a mini boss fight compared to some of the enemies we've just been facing. Yeah, the no death run is still on. I'm only playing on normal, of course. Hard mode's not yet available. Cheers, guys. I feel like I don't deserve all this praise for killing two wolves there, but I'll take it, so thank you. I'm loving the music, by the way. Yeah, I've got to say that. Just having, you know, the Yuffie theme playing in the background with this remix and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Right, so we haven't been up here, have we? There might be some items to grab is what I'm thinking. I know it's a little bit out of the way, but we've got time. We've got time. Hello, Groovy. How are you doing? Yeah, thanks for stopping by as we plow ahead here with the new Yuffie episode. And things got a little bit hairy there for a moment. Oh, good job we came up here. What is this? A little green football. Wind material. Nice. So let's go ahead and equip that. And what do you know? Oh, actually, I could put a summer material in from one of the DLC materials. Maybe Choco Chick. You know, Carbuncle might not be a bad thing either. Yeah, I'm going to go for Carbuncle. A little bit of healing and barrier action. Oh, I had no idea we had all this materia either. Okay. We've actually got a Mastered Subversion materia as well. And a Steadfast Block. Uh, uh, yeah, I actually like that. I just can't remember how to guard. I haven't done that yet. Uh, the controls aren't really listed here, are they? No. I'll just have to figure it out in the next battle, probably. But yeah, we've got some wind material. Yeah, it pays to explore. So I'm glad we didn't miss that. Oh, sorry to hear that, Groovy. Is that PS5 troubles, is it? Yeah, I believe it's R1 Venom Bite. Yeah, I think R2 does something else. The controls turn off when you're not in battle, so we'll have to get into a fight to test it. But yeah, I believe it is R1. I think R2 puts you in tactical mode. Where everything is paused and stuff while you fanny about. 
Bit of guilt. Surprise you, Fee. Didn't get really excited about that wind materia. She does like finding a new materia, doesn't she? Uh, I'm going to go for my first manual save here. Just in case anything untoward should be waiting for us around the corner. I do believe there is new materia, Serene. So I would imagine there is some new combos. Yes, we've got all the elemental materia already. We had the rest of it in our bag. So we need to go across there. So let's just destroy some stuff first. Uh, and then we just found the last one, which was the wind materia. Yeah, no, I understand the frustration. Groovy. I believe the six months exclusivity. I know there was a year. Uh, yeah, there was one year of exclusivity, wasn't there, when it came out on PS4? After that expired, there's another six months added to the PS5 version. So hopefully after that, the game will be coming out to PC, Xbox, you know, Mega Drive, whatever. Hey, Bionic, welcome with the raid. Good to have you all. Hey, I love the emotes. Nice one. This is too weird. <laughs> okay, you got this. Hello, party of Bionic 13. This is my first time playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate Yuffie's DLC Intermission. But we're having a lot of fun with it so far. Yeah, I wonder what that text says. Not being able to read Japanese. Could mean anything. <laughs> oh, Scrap Boulevard. Wasn't there some tough fights here in the original Final Fantasy VII Remake? With Cloud and Ares. Uh, Aerith. Uh, already broken. Fair dues, fair dues. Okay, let me just see which way we should go. I don't think it matters. It looks like we need to get to the same place. Huh, okay. Oh, yes, it's where you do the odd jobs. You're right about that. Yeah, by the headquarters and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, like I say, it's been a while for me. My mind is not what it once was. And it never was that much, trust me. <laughs> oh, is that the case, is it, Avrand? I've got to be honest, my least favourite was Kate Sith. Who had a cameo, didn't he, in the first game. So... Be interesting what they do with Kate. I know that we're backtracking. I just want to make sure we've not missed anything in terms of loot. And it doesn't look like we have. So let's just move on. Yeah, I mean, we've only played for about 25 minutes so far, Bionic. But seems to be a lot of fun. I mean, if you liked the original Final Fantasy VII Remake, anyhow, it's a lot of fun. It doesn't change a whole lot in terms of gameplay though there are some new mechanics and a new shiny materia mp up very good oh two to three hours is it serene i saw somebody post on reddit that it's about six hours although i suppose it depends how much time you spend on various parts of it because there's a new mini game isn't there fort condor mini game i saw it in a trailer. I made a video about it a few weeks back. So I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into that. But yeah, I suppose it just depends how much time you spend on it all. 
But if we explored everywhere that we can go, yes, I believe we have. So let's head into the main sector seven, is it? Wait, did you just come from any monster troubles or Yeah, so I wonder where Cloud and that are at the moment. But chapter they are currently making their way through. Oh, is it a lot of fun, is it, Elijah? Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So we've just defeated Airbuster, have we? Hello, Suha. Yeah, no, it makes sense, Serene. Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. There's our palm. So you're yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Elijah. Follow me. I mean, let's be honest, Final Fantasy minigames can be quite hit or miss. Hits include Triple Triad from Final Fantasy VIII, Blitzball from Final Fantasy X. But there's a lot more misses, perhaps, than there are hits. Anyone who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Oh, I missed it. Who's this guy? ZG? Do we know this fella? Seeing your fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Man. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Avrand. Well, Square have really gone all in with the Moogles, haven't they? Well, here we are. Ladies first. Hey, look who it is! <laughs> Here they are. The trio themselves. So yeah, as far as I understand, based on what we've just witnessed so far, where we are in the timeline is that Cloud and the party have just taken care of Airbuster in Mako Reactor number 5. And so he's probably off chortling to meet Ares now in Sector 8. So Yuffie's just a little bit laggy behind them. Yeah, that's cool. I suppose it makes sense that they're able to see Yuffie because even though the other Avalanche, even though like Cloud and that can't because they don't meet her until they're out in the open in the next game. These guys, eh, nothing to stop them from doing so. Right, so this is Avalanche's base. Let's rest up. And then pop down. So, we... I don't remember this room from the main game. Or is this new? Yeah, I have no idea, Groovy. I don't think so. I don't suspect so. I think they are going to be leaving the meeting between Yuffie and the main party for the next game. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, it was quite an urgent action there, wasn't it, Serene? To prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems yeah, to Sonan is a new oh, character, he isn't does, he? For does he? this expansion. He's not, like, taken from the compilation he games or anything. Light. It's like a rule. 
said I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous de Chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. More like pork scratchings. Teeth breakers. Do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> huh? Oh, it looks like there's a purple chest. I want to loot that. Okay, so we're waiting for Sonon. We're gonna speak to Billy Bob in just a moment. Oh, and the others as well. Oh, right. We've got a new weapon. Nice. Let's check this out, shall we? So. Oh, we've actually got the Cax Star weapon. I forgot about that, if I'm honest with you. But that, <laughs> I love the look of that. So this is a DLC weapon. So the Boomer... We've been using the four-point Shuriken. The Shuriken, we've got the Boomerang. Ability, broom or form. Okay, so we lose elemental ninjutsu. I guess until we master the weapon. Uh, boomerang, broom or form. Evade an attack. ATB increases when successful. That sounds good. And Cactstar. Which has some nice stats on it. And let the Shuriken run around mowing down enemies it touches. I like the sound of it. Let's go for it, shall we? And we get an extra materia slot also. You're looking forward to the conformer already. I would love it, Suha, but why do I get the feeling they're going to be saving that for the next game? And, I don't know. Why have we got all these level 2 materials? I'm not complaining, but... It just seems like a strange thing to have. Let's level up wind a bit, shall we? Yeah, it looks great, Serene. Yeah, there are some flying enemies, so let's level up wind, shall we? You must be tired I want to test out my new weapon now. Mowing down enemies with a sharp cactus possible. thing sounds like a lot of fun. Tell me where in the Shimmer Building they're keeping that material instead. Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, no, we haven't yet, Suha. At least. Whether we'll get them or not, I'm not sure. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the advanced weaponry division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So, Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. Okay, so we've got to get into the Shinra basement. <laughs> Sounds simple enough. You won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Just be careful, will you? Please? Oh, yeah. You should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to end up at the Shinra building about the same time that Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa end up there. And Aerith. My teeth. I should have spoken to the other person first. So the material I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one. Why didn't you say so? Now, if you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. Yeah, I wonder if that will be part two. Bit of Vincent's action. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. Vincent you was know, a character so I, that I was really fond of in the original game, but I wasn't well, if you had hugely idea, fond of his combat. You just take the train up there. But with all the his limit on, break looked awesome, option. but Security's wasn't really as useful as some of the other yeah, characters' limit breaks by the end game. For things to settle down some. Sit tight, but I want to go now. But I guess in Remake, he's going to be absolutely Harsh. phenomenal. 
Just like the summons are incredible in Remake, I can imagine having Vincent transform into his various monstrous forms. It's just going to be a sight to behold. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates <laughs> modulation. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be good too, Flare Fox. In, a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. in fact, I think the first game... The okay, we can do the combat simulator in a moment. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, in the first game, it got hacked or something, you and you could actually take control of Red 13, really but it was a very complicated simulator. procedure. But just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. If you ever feel like some virtual training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. Okay, I'm guessing it's going to be some tough fights by the end of intermission. You look about ready to die of boredom. Oh, okay. Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. Right, okay. Is this where we actually get to play this mini game? For my benefit, then. We got the starter pack. Okay, so this is the Fort Condor mini game. A beginner's guide to Fort Condor. Hello, Bower. How's it? How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Okay, Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and material to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. You can select what board to use, which will determine the number of ATB charges and material available, along with the units you wish to deploy. Check what units and board your opponent plans to use and adjust accordingly. Okay, so do we always get to choose in response to our opponent then? Or do they sometimes get to choose in response to us? Ah, oh, fair enough, Bauer. Well, it's good to have you with us. The opposition's board and unit loadout is displayed on the right. Each unit has a weakness. Okay, therefore keep in mind which units your opponent's using. Okay, and then you can edit your board or units at the moment. Oh, you can't edit your board or units at the moment, so press X to start. Okay. So it definitely sounds like it's taken quite a bit of inspiration, doesn't it, from the original Fort Condor. We start with 8 ATB. So I can't do anything at the moment, apart from confirm. But I can see the material that we have. So we have Fire and Cure, they have Blizzard and Aero. I'm doing well, thank you, Adrian. Good to see you. How are you doing? Have you played Integrade yet at all? Okay, we could normally switch boards, perhaps, with R1 and L1, but this is the only board we have right now, so all I can do is go ahead and begin. I want to just see the units, though, how they stack up against one another, but I can't do that. So let's begin the match. Okay, so that was the strategy part. Now this is the actual gameplay part. When the game begins, is it turn-based or do we have to act quickly? Oh, the music. I'm loving the music. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. Is it like League of Legends? To win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. So it's a three minute match and whoever has whatever's left is going to be the winner if you have the most left. Uh, units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Yeah, it does a bit, Anthony. It seems to be quite an in-depth minigame. Might take a little bit of practice to get used to it. Okay, so the ATB is the cost or the resource to spend in order to deploy units. Okay. Okay, right then. So, uh, I want to deploy a unit, but I don't know what I want to deploy. How do I actually deploy a unit? Okay. So move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit. I guess we're going to do it in the white box on the floor. 
to change the drop location. Okay. A unit to assign one of three roles. Vanguard, ranged, or defense. Okay, Vanguard units are effective against ranged units. Range units are effective against defensive units. And defensive units are effective against Vanguard units. So, Vanguard is your defensive unit. Like what the opponents just put out on the battlefield, yeah? In which case, we want to put out a defensive unit. Is that right? Oh, no, no, no. They've put a defensive unit out, I think. So, we want to put a ranged unit out. Which is a Grenadier. I think. Yeah, yeah, this is going to take a bit of practice. Right, okay, the role is displayed above them. So, I need to try and remember this then. Uh, Vanguard, which is your sword, your red sword unit, is effective against range. Range is effective against defense, which is the blue shield, and then defense is effective against range, which is the green bow. Okay, let's see how we get on here then. Okay. So, what I want to do... They've put out a defense, which means I want to put out a range, I think. Uh, except I didn't want to really put it there. Oh, right, the bird thing kills them as well. Okay. Right, we can't put out that thing yet. Okay, so I put that in the wrong place, but the idea was correct. Yeah, I'm loving the music as well. So let's just place this thing, maybe get some attacks going. Materia allows you to use pa uh, powerful spells during a match. Okay, so that's like a little bit of extra damage, is it? Offensive spells work differently. They do not deal elemental damage. Instead, each spell has its own unique attack pattern. Okay, so not elemental damage. Trying to remember that. Right, so against that thing, we need to throw in a defensive unit, I believe. And to cast a spell. Okay, that's how we cast spells. But I think we've got the defensive unit yet. So if we go here, we might be able to throw a fire spell or something. Or do you think we should save that against the bases? Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to speed up a bit here. Let's just... Drop the fire spell. Okay, well that helped. And let's just keep dropping some stuff now. Okay. So we'll drop one of those. We'll just keep dropping units. Uh, drop that to kill that thing. And then drop some attack units as well. Yeah, I think we just need to be a little bit faster. Okay, that'll take care of that. So now we just need to wait for our ATB to fill up. Okay, we've got some ATB. So let's once again go to the other side here. And we can actually get a little bit closer now to the bases. Maybe we should take out one at a time, perhaps. Uh, let's just drop this thing in. I guess anything can kill the bases themselves. So, not the smoothest run, but I think we're getting there. So, there's one down. Okay, let's drop another range to try and take out some of these defensive units. How's our base coming along? Okay, it's doing okay at the moment. So next up we've got another ranged unit. Let's drop a, a defensive unit by this. Okay, now we can drop our range. Kill anything that comes to this thing. I'm just waiting for more units here. Uh, let's drop a cure. Oh, I missed it. Darn it. That's annoying. Uh, let's drop another ranged unit. And another defensive unit. Okay, the actual bases themselves do quite a bit of damage, it's got to be said. So we've got units coming out here to 
Engage more attacks. This thing's almost dead. We've got 30 seconds to actually kill it. We did it. We were going to win anyway. Okay, yeah. That took a little bit of getting used to. But I think I just about got to it. So, yeah, I want to try and drop next time. Drop our defensive units closer to our base. Thank you, guys. And then we can bring the attack units and the ranged attack units, depending on which the enemy has spawned. So, yeah, yeah. No, Fort Condor is actually fun. I've only done one match, but... So, we've got a Condor, Condor coin. Maybe we can buy things. Later on. Like units and stuff. New units. And we got an item as well. Sentry gun prototype. A defensive item. Cool. Damn, Yuffie. How'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean you... Oh, yeah. That, you know there's going to be them, wow. Serene. Some really annoying trophy to try and unlock well, for Fort Condor. The Master the game and don't take any damage or something ridiculous. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Oh yeah, the Grandmaster. That'll be a trophy. That's right. But you should know. The hardcore competitors... Well, they get some materia as well. Until you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on. Okay, I've got a new board. I mean, May now... Challenge rank one players. So, do we just... I want to speak to this guy again to play another match or something. Let's just go ahead and save, though, before we do anything else. Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Oh, is this the same match, is it, that we've just done? I'll best leave that then. You sure? Yeesh. Those the chow beans are really something else. I think I broke a tooth. <laughs> yeah, classic Yuffie, always obsessed with materia. Someone's still not back? It must be in Walmart then. What's Walmart? Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. Adrian says it'll be jump rope a thousand There's times without taking damage while playing Fort Condor. Hard to yeah, yeah, I'm hoping oh, not that. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. I don't think I'll ever be doing a single skip right with uh, VV ever again now that I've got that trophy. How kids just don't understand the value of hard work. They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Wutai's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. It's called the Happy Turtle. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle. The, in the Happy Turtle? Well. Huh? I don't know where exactly, because... Is that the same as Turtle's been. Paradise? They flyers from time to time. They do, huh? Oh, okay, Venom Bite. Yeah, I'm going to try and battle that guy again. <laughs> poster <laughs> hunting type. Oh, yeah, we've got to get the Turtle Paradise posters now. Up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Might be from Wu Tai. I gotta find him. Man, is there some? Oh yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I was a little bit younger then, Serene. All this talking's giving me a headache. I'm gonna go do some recon. <laughs> I won't stop you. Yeah, so definitely Flare off, Fox. Okay? It's like an homage to that, isn't it? I would say. Right, let's go ahead and see if this guy's got another round then. Because the quest objective is bringing us to Hulk. Okay, we can now edit our loadout. So this is a new game, yes. Oh, we've got a... Yeah, like in the original then. Okay, so we can edit our loadout. Press L1 and R1 to switch between loadouts. If only we could get material loadouts for the main game. I'd be happy then. Okay. Press triangle to change your units in your loadout. Once you've made your selection, swap in the new unit. So we have to select security officer. And it looks like we have to bring in one of these defensive units. The S-Gun prototype. That was what we just collected at the end of the last game, wasn't it? Uh, what's the number in the upper corner? 
So two on this one, three on this. Is that something to do with a level? Can you level these things up? Fire grenades from range. Yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, it's the cost, the ATB cost. Thank you, Venom Bite. Yeah, I thought it was a level, but it's the ATB cost. So this thing's cheaper, but not quite as good. So let's go for the S gun prototype, shall we? Choose your loadout wisely to ensure victory. Thank you, Serene. Okay, I'm just looking. The Sorcerer board only has six starting ATB. So I'm thinking, why would we ever go with the Sorcerer board when we could go with the Starter board? And the other stats and that look pretty much the same. The Headquarters and Outposts have the same amount. Does the Materia change? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so we can change Materia. Nope, don't do that. Go away. Okay. Um, so I could potentially change some other things as well if I wanted to do so, but I don't think I do. Unless we swap out the Riot Trooper, maybe? I don't have a simple melee two-cost unit. Now, let's just go for it. I don't think we need to strategize too much in these early matches. So, let's see how this how this works, shall we? Going to start by dropping a couple of defensive units down by our buildings. Uh, I don't know where the enemy spawn looks like here. So, let's go ahead and drop down the S-Gun prototype there. And the Riot Trooper here. And now we just need some ATB. Yeah. Wow. I like that gun. That gun's pretty fun. Oh, they've got one of these guns as well. So we need to drop down some of these. So we've got Grenadiers and Slug Rays. Let's go for the Slug Ray first, shall we? And we just need some... A little bit more ATB. Okay, they've dropped down... A ranged, which I think we means we need to drop down a melee unit. So let's drop, put in, I don't know, heli trooper. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I do want to put some more ranged units down if we can. Oh, I've just put the wrong unit in. I should have put a defensive one in for that. We'll do that in a moment. Okay, let's drop down another S-Gun prototype. And one on this side. Once I've got the ATB. Uh-oh. Right, this one needs a slug ray. Because it's a defensive unit that we need to kill. Okay, well that worked nicely. take out some of these defensive units. Right, and they'll move on to the bases once the units have automatically been destroyed there. Why is this thing taking constant damage? Let's drop another one down in preparation, shall we? Right, you kill this thing. Let's put another one in. If we can stay on top of these units, then we'll start doing damage to the bases, which we just about are going to do here. Right, so we've got three units out and about up here, which is nice. I don't think dropping that there is all that useful, is it? Does it still do damage? Oh, that was nasty. That was very nasty. Right, hopefully our bird thing will take care of that unit. We'll put some more slug rays in, I think. I think I'm getting the hang of this, how this works. It is fun, actually. It is fun. Our defensive unit is holding its own. That's good. But we do need to drop some more defensive units down here. 
Oh, we did it. We did it. We killed everything. And we get another Condor coin. Nice. Hmm. Maybe I really do suck at this. Right. So I think that's the end of that quest, is it? We just need to go around and battle people now. Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Is that going to be the same match? Come on, I need the practice. I'm not sure, actually. Let's just save again because we did succeed. I'll just see if it's the same match or another match. Hey, we can close out if it's the same thing. Oh, okay, Adrian. I can imagine this becoming quite addictive. Okay, I think this is the same match we've just done, is it? But without the tutorial stuff, is that right? So maybe we don't need to play this. Maybe we do. Let's just do it. I'm just going to go for the same loadout that we had previously. It seems to save it, which is good. So we'll drop down a Riot Trooper there. Start moving some of these guys across over here. Okay, we'll need... Another one over here. Okay, a couple of level one players outside. Cheers, Elijah. Is this the same match I've just done, but without the tutorial stuff, is it? Okay, I'm going to drop another Riot Trooper down here for these red enemies. And then I'm going to put the gun down as well. Should anything make its way over? Yeah, it's going to be patient while you wait for the green stuff. I didn't use my spells last time, did I? I just realised. Yeah, let's use a spell, shall we? So we want to use L1. Draw units inward while dealing damage. Fly straight ahead and deals damage to some after landing. Okay. Okay, that didn't seem to work. I must have cast it too far away. Uh, we've got some pretty nasty stuff happening on this side of the aisle. Let's drop the gun down. That should fire at the thing in the sky. I don't mind doing this battle again. Just means a little bit more practice then, doesn't it? So, we should be able to throw a spell such as Blizzard. Okay. We did do some damage. Let's drop another Riot Trooper down. Take care of those. And Slug Ray here. Take care of that. I'll be pushing through. This ranged enemy seems to be causing a little bit of a nuisance. Oh, that's strange, Serene. Is that like a bug, is it? Probably. Okay, we've got 48 seconds. This isn't going as well as previously. But we might still win. Oh, we did kill one unit. Nice. Right, let's just drop loads of stuff here. Try and do some damage. See what we can do in 36 seconds. Let's drop a load of ranged units if that's what's going to be made available to us. Wow, these things hurt a lot. Nineteen seconds. Let's wait for three. We'll drop a red damage unit in. 
guard dog, because why not? Why can't I place it? Uh, I can now. Three, two, one. Okay, we still won though. Okay. But I think I've got the hang of it. Oh, for the love of... You've been playing for like five seconds. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go ahead and leave this place. Yeah, it is fun, that mini game. It just takes a touch getting used to, really. Okay, yeah, that's cool. All of the other opponents, the rank one opponents that we can battle anyway, are sort of scattered around on the map. So we can just speak to this guy, for example. Johnny, it's Johnny. Just great. And engage in some battles. Scare me like that. I'm highly strong. You're trying to kill me. Who the hell are you? Who am I? Someone who doesn't spend all day muttering to themselves in the shadows. Like some kind of yeah, welcome to those that have joined to watch. Good to have you here. And if you're watching a little bit later on on YouTube, then please don't forget to just drop a like. Manipulate that YouTube algorithm for me. It's really appreciated. And if you feel up for it, subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of future content. So you're after the Grandmaster too? Sorry to burst your bubble, Mr. Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Well, over my dead body, you will. My life's on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. Okay, let's challenge Johnny. Johnny made no mention in the remake, did he, that he was good at this game. He didn't want to play it. Oh, crikey, he's got a sorcerer board level two. This could be painful. This could be very painful. Well, let's just stick with our loadout, shall we? Yeah, he's got some stronger attacks as well than us. And he's got stronger materia as well. I'm thinking I might start with the starter board. Okay, but let's just change some stuff out of it. Let's go for the heli trooper. Yeah, I do like the blast ray. I think I prefer it to the gun, maybe. He's got no red units. Oh no, you're right. He's got no red units. So what does that mean I don't need? What is it that kills red units? That's the blue ones, isn't it? So I need range to kill his blue units. Red to kill his green units. I wonder if I can get away with not using a... Maybe I should keep one blue unit to defend some of our base structures. But we'll get rid of the riot trooper here and just go for a security officer. Yeah, see you later, Flare Fox. Thanks for stopping by. Right, let's try that then. So Johnny has no red units. So we've taken off one of our blue units to compensate. Okay, so there's his blue units. I can't drop a green yet, which is kind of annoying. Still can't drop a green. I have to drop another one, do I? Okay. Well, we'll stop a blue then. Or drop a blue. A little bit of defense. Then we can drop our green. And we'll see what's next. Uh, let's just drop a red. Okay, green next. We've got a nice, nice little team moving along here. Ouch, some nasty stuff though. Okay, we need red against this thing. 
don't know there was a way to boost up our ATB a little bit more. Okay, on the ATB bar, it actually shows you when the next unit's going to be available as well, which is kind of helpful. So we did some nice damage there. So I think we are winning. Okay, green. A lot of blue, blue nasty stuff coming our way here. Drop another green. Okay, we are doing damage. That's the main thing. That green guy was just standing there. Right, let's send some reds. Oh, no, I still need to wait, really. No, let's send some reds up here. Yeah, heli trooper up there. A gr grenadier here so that we can take care of the blue defensive units. Oh, he just cast Blizzard on us. Okay, well, that's his spell used anyway. We haven't used any of ours just yet. Drop another green unit there. I do think we're winning, are we? Maybe. Just about. Just about. Okay, let's drop a red. In fact, let's go ahead and use a spell, shall we? Nice fire spell. Yeah, that seems to do the job. Okay, let's put in a guard dog. Do some damage to the structure. Okay, it's down, I think. Is it? Yep. Oh, we're actually making progress here now that I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, I don't think we're going to kill everything in 28 seconds, but we should still win. The guard dog also did a lot of damage. Some nasty stuff here. Let's see if I can drop a grenadier in and also a cure spell. Okay, they don't have much range on the spell, so I need to bear that in mind, really. Let's just see if we can kill this other structure. Does not like it. No, we did it though. We won. Okay, we got an elite riot trooper defensive unit. Didn't we already have one of those? Or was it just a riot trooper we had before, wasn't it? And we got two condor coins. Nice. What? No, this can't be seen. It's so... <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Better luck next time. Goodbye, fortune. Goodbye, pride. <laughs> now I'm taking down Midgar a citizen at a time. Hmm? Wait, what'd you say? That all of Midgar is gonna suffer the same fate. Okay. So it looks like we've got a couple more to get through. Who's next? Who's next up on the to be destroyed list? Let's just save. May as well get through them, since we're making progress here. Is ensuring that you're you. So when your opponent leads with this, you respond with this. Oh, this game is insane. Hey there. Shinra, middle How manager. With yourself working out? Oh, What's this fellow even doing here in the slums? My daughter's been dying to play this game, and I promised to teach her. But first. Unlikely, Anthony. <laughs> Unlikely. You never know, though. Maybe in part two. Maybe Johnny will be the final boss of the final part of the game after the destruction of Sephiroth. Yeah, I'm thinking that the starter board is just a little bit more powerful. Okay, this guy's got a lot of green units, which means we are going to need some more defensive units. So let's edit our loadout here. Okay, we've got the Elite Riot Trooper. I've got to give that a go, despite its expensive ATB cost. And I'm not a huge fan of the Heli Trooper. So let's go for the S-Gun Prototype. Okay, what else has he got? He's got a blue 
defensive unit, so that's where greenies will come in handy. Oh no, hang on, I've messed this up, haven't I? It's the red units I need, not the blue ones. Yeah, the red units go against the green, don't they? Okay, I'm going to keep Elite Riot Trooper, though. Get rid of the others. Okay, so they'll destroy the green. And then he's got one red, which is handled by our Elite Riot Trooper. And one blue, which is handled by our two green meanies. So let's go ahead and finish there and make a start. So I'll let him drop his unit first, see what he's putting out as we get some ATB. There's no rush, no rush. Okay. Put a guard dog out to fight that thing. And we can put a defensive unit out around here as well, can't we? Oh, the guard dog just ignored that trooper. Let's put a heli trooper out then. Oh, yeah, is this, like, based on the Fire Emblem stuff a little bit, isn't it, Anthony? But perhaps not quite as complicated. I want to put out our new trooper, but with all these green things coming out, we need a lot of red, red response to it, really. So if you put the blue out, I've got some reds waiting. Oh, let's just drop the Elite Riot Trooper in. Probably not the most tactical move, but it's got a lot of stats. And another... Oh, no, no, that'd be good against the red one. Unless it doesn't reach the ones in the sky, maybe. Oh, no, that's us. Okay, fair enough. Let's just go ahead and drop a guard dog in because they do a lot of damage. Uh, we'll also heal. Oh, that works. Nice. Oh, is that dead? Yep. Okay, drop in another uh, heli trooper. Oh, yes, Serene. Oh, yes. Oh, so we're making good progress here, actually. Let's just use a fire. Try and take out that unit. Oh, we did it. Okay, we only actually have to kill the main base at the back, is it? Not the two outposts. And we've got an elite grenadier, which is a ranged unit. And two more condor coins, which I still don't know what they are used for. Well, what do you know? I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Starting to get the hang of what? Losing? <laughs> Losing on purpose, to be precise. If I can let my daughter win without her suspecting, that to me is as good as a victory. Fair dues, fair dues. <laughs> I know, I know. But if it'll make her happy. Okay, looks like we've got one more rank one. Yeah, so far there's been a lot of Fort Condor stuff, hasn't there? And no doubt once we defeat this last one, all the rank twos will open up. But I'll probably take a break from the mini game then. But I do want to get these rank ones. Done and dusted. You know the drill. You want to play? You got to fork over. Ah. What's your It's Kiri. And why are you dressed like a 5-year-old? That's just weird. Uh, what are you talking about? This isn't weird. It's super cute. Super cute? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely has those vibes to it, doesn't it, Sarai? Huh? Just saying how much I was looking forward to playing Fort Condor. I could really use the training, you know. Sure, I'll put you through your paces. But you do know it's going to cost you, right? One match, three gil. Hey, up. Yeah, if we have to... Do we have to do all the Fort Condor stuff now? Or can, you know, if other matches like the Rank 2s pop up? Or can we come back later? Or maybe the Rank 2 matches aren't around this area. Who knows? Uh, Battalion board. Okay, this person has... Kiri has a lot of units. Most of them red, which means we want more blue. This looks a lot more powerful than some of the previous opponents. Oh, yeah, I think I remember you saying that, Serene. 
They're all in this area. Thank you, uh, Jaytand. So hopefully when we leave, we can just pop back if we want to. Because we can do the chapter selecting the original game. I'm sure there's something similar here, isn't there? Okay, so to fight red, we need blue. And then we need perhaps one green to fight the elite riot troopers. And a blue to fight the monodrives. So let's swap the Grenadier out for the Elite Grenadier. A little bit more expensive, but also more powerful. And then we want basically a whole load of blue stuff. I'm going to keep the Guard Dog, I think. Blast Ray and... Yeah, that'll do. Don't know how this is going to work, to be honest with you. This person looks powerful. But we've been doing okay so far. Maybe we can manage it. Okay, what are you going to drop? A red. So that means we want to drop a blue. Put in our elite riot trooper there. Should be more than sufficient to take care of that thing. And just wait for a little bit more ATB here. There's no rush right now. Okay, another red there. So let's drop in the S-Gun prototype. Uh, prototype. Okay, can the gun not shoot the flying heli trooper? It's kind of annoying if that's the case. Not doing a whole lot. Maybe it's just out of range. I'm not sure. Okay, let's put the guard dog in. Start doing damage. And we shall cure. And let's use fire as well. Ah, oh, missed, I think. Oh, what's this thing here? Is that like a defensive unit or something? Kind of annoying. Let's put in another elite riot trooper here, though. Take that thing out, perhaps. And the S-Gun prototype as well. Nothing's made its way down here yet, which is a good sight to see. Yeah, I think a lot of people... Would like that, Serene, wouldn't they? Yeah, basically we just need a lot of the blue defensive units for this particular stage. Uh, there's a greeny there, which is not going to do us any good with all these blue units, so don't think our guard dog will reach it either. Okay, we can do damage to the base though, that's the main thing. Let's just plonk loads of stuff down here. And once this is dead, that's game over anyway. Yeah, we'll put in another S-Gun prototype. We're getting there. We're getting there. We don't need to kill this other base. There we go. We've done it. And we get another unit. Nice. So I'm guessing we unlock a unit for each unique enemy we defeat. Me? I, cheated <laughs> I cheated and I still lost. lost. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, the problem is, Serene, there's just a shortage of computer chips the globe over. So much tech is struggling to meet demand, even cars and that are just struggling to keep up with it all. Okay, our rank 2 opponents have shown up, but I'm going to save and take a break, I think, from the rank 2 opponents for the time being. Mainly because I don't want you guys to get fed up with just doing Fort Condor stuff, even though I'm actually really enjoying it, but... We'll get back to that a little bit later. Let's just carry on with the story. So, we've got a couple of objectives here. I'm not sure, Serene, nowadays. I managed to pick up the PS5 on release day from simplygames.com. So, oh, it's the combat simulator. We're still solo at the minute, so... I'm not sure how well this is going to go. She seems relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, yeah, go back in time. Tell me what you're mumbling about. Yeah, I perhaps not the most practical advice, I'm Anthony, but I'm sure it would work. Helping me with my research. I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? 
To be honest, the PlayStation 5 has serious lackluster storage so in terms of size. Don't get me wrong. The speed is fantastic. Have you guys even noticed any loading times yet? The loading times were quite lengthy, weren't they? In On the PS4, even when I used an SSD. But not so much here. Oh, we can actually battle Ramu right off the bat. Yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be a complete destruction. Derby. In every way. Maybe once we've leveled up, got our opponent with us. Uh, not opponent, our party member with us. Let's try and dodge. Okay, yeah, we're all <laughs> we're completely paralyzed. I can't move. And we're almost dead. Although we've got a car bump call soon popping up. Can we dodge that? No, I don't think so. Had a little red triangle thing. Yeah, this is hard. Probably a little bit too hard, if I'm honest with you. For now. Well, we almost got Carbuncle out, but not quite. Yeah, I think we need to be coming back to that a little bit later on. <laughs> Once we have prepped a touch a more. A close match? Is he taking the mick out of us or what? Well. We'll leave Chadley for now. And we'll move on to our next objective. You don't have a summon slot. That's weird, Elijah. Have you downloaded the DLC material? It might be that you haven't unlocked a summon yet. So, I've got the summon slot because I've got the Carbuncle, Cactuar and Chocobo Chick material. But if you've only been playing the PS4 version, you need to download it again and add it into the menu from the DLC option here. Okay. And then perhaps that will give you the summon slot then. This is one happy, happy chappy, isn't it? Oh, this is old Snapper, is it? This is the Wu Tai Happy Turtles Paradise guy. How many of those flyers did you find? Collect just six flyers for the Happy Turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well then, allow me to explain. The Happy Turtles running a contest. And the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Wutayan. Yeah, this guy is pretty funny, I've got to say. Some have even gone so far I love his giant turtle shell. Posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Square are going pretty all out with the mad costumes, aren't they? In this DLC. Do you have the DLC summon, Jaytan? It might be that it only unlocks once you unlock the first summon, which for me is the DLC summons. But for you, it might have been Ramu. Yeah, Avrand, there seems to be. Oh, he wants the Condor coins. Oh, you got it sorted, have you, Elijah? Right. I don't really want to be purchasing this stuff. But we can buy some new boards. We could get an Assassin's board. Builds the ATB gauge faster. That's got to be good. Six units. That's the same as our current board, I think, isn't it? We also have fire and haste. 
Uh, or we could upgrade our current board, which I believe gives us extra spells and two more or one more unit. Oh, no. Five units. How many units can we have? Six. So it's one less unit, is it? Okay, well, let's go for the Assassin's Board, shall we? We'll use that next time. Okay, well, I've got so many quests popping up. Right. If we go down, there's a Turtles Paradise poster, is there? So do we need to go in here, then down the stairs? Yeah, that's good, Elijah. Yeah, it's a bit weird the way you have to do it, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to try and get all of these Turtles Paradise things. But... Welcome back. Oh, here's Sonon. So uh, known. There you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Uh, uh. Maybe we could face Ramu now. Got Just this dude. You know you're nothing like your old man. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Uh, reference to uh, Godo, is it? Is it Godo or Godo? Yeah. Had a complete mind blank. Whoever it is. Him. Let's talk about something else. Like how you've adjusted to life here. Indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. <laughs> Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over the hill has been. <laughs> Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do adult stuff just fine. Well, I don't even know where to begin with all of that. But I do know I haven't heard of Operation Down in One. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, we've done this longer. It's definitely got a more... I guess I have. What's the phrase? Boss. I don't want to say silly. I could get used to that. But a more laid-back style to it, perhaps. For sure. A little bit more of a quirky approach than Final Fantasy VII Remake, the main story or the main game. Stupid bird. Which I think fits. It fits Yuffie's personality and characterization pretty well, so. I'm sure things will serious up a bit a little bit later on as well. Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done. Yeah, so the ultimate goal is to get into Shinra headquarters, head to the basement and get this materia. We've got a few bits to do along the way. Right, so Sonon is now in our party. You cannot control him in combat. Instead, issue him commands with R2. Pressing L2 will have him synergize with Yuffie and he will team up with her to perform attacks in tandem. Okay. Okay. I can't move. Oh, I can now. Okay, can we change his equipment, though? He likes purple materia, doesn't he? Item Master. That's new, isn't it? Increase the effectiveness of items used in battle. No, actually, I don't think it is. Auto Cure. Which is what you give to party members you don't control. First Strike and Provoke. Right, we'll give him a Summon as well. Chocobo Chick. Yeah, he can keep the purple materials for now. Okay, I actually think I missed out the thing. Okay, right, so we're going to try and get the Happy Turtle Flyers now. It looks like there's one. Oh, no, that's not one, is it? That's just... What's his face there? Head now. Watch yourself, okay? I was just checking if he was going to say anything because we defeat all the rank one players, but he didn't. Okay, so let's head up then. We'll try and find these turtles paradise flyers or happy turtle flyers, as they're now called. And it looks like there's one 
over here. Oh, is that just the guy? Yep. Okay. So, <laughs> right, okay, let's head over here then. To the west. Oh, it's just Chadley. All these purple dots. None of them are the actual Paradise Flyers. In fact, are they not even marked? I don't think they're marked, are they? We need to actually find them all ourselves. Yep. It looks like it. It looks like it. I thought they would have been marked as objectives or something. But apparently they're not. So. Ah. Okay. Elijah says he's only found two. Going to be a little bit annoying then. Yeah, it is very hot here in the UK. Yeah, well, a lot of quests in the original Final Fantasy VII Remake, Anthony, were just marked, weren't they? Or am I thinking of another game? Actually, do you remember where you had to find the missing cats? I don't think they were marked, were they? Or were they? That was in this area as well, wasn't it? Uh, let me see what online says. Happy Turtle Flyer Locations. Okay, right, let's see how this works. So we're going to start at the old snapper. So if we head over here, we can't get through there. Okay, I think there might be one over here. If we break our way through... Yeah, here's one. So this is what they look like. They're these shiny posters, you can't really miss them. And you get a really annoying jingle that plays as well. There's a materia in cat area at back where the kids are. Ah, interesting. Yeah, if we can get that as well. Okay, well, we'll look for that as we move along here. Right, there's floating through the air. And we're just going to head down here. Right, I believe there's a chest around here as well, according to this thing on Google. Yep. Oh, yeah, flying turtle. That sounds good. So we'll grab the Riot Trooper Barracks Defense. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to throw our weapon at this or something, I would imagine. Uh, no, we can't do that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just aim at the actual balloon thing itself. And it looks like it's just dropped around here. Oh, is that it? Did we get it? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Right. So, two down. Four more to go. Yeah, I'll just check there was nothing else. Yeah, that was the uh, item you were talking about, was it? Oh, look, there's Wedge. Yeah, I can't see any materia, but... We did get that Fort Condor item around this area, so that must have been it. Hello, Pale Blood. Yeah, good to have you here. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. Uh, I don't think so. It's not one I recognise unless it's been remixed so much that it becomes almost unrecognisable. Maybe that is what's happened. I'm not sure. Okay, right. So the next one's a bit of a pain to find. Uh, 
Okay, I think we need to head over to Cloud's apartment. I don't know if I'm doing these in the best order or not, but we're going to get them all, so that's the main thing, isn't it? Okay, up here. Oh, one thing we can do. Oh, what's this about? Oh, okay, it's a little mini game. We have to wait until the dog's asleep. Because if we get caught, he doesn't like us taking it. Uh, I just want to see if the door's been fixed. And it looks like it has. It hasn't got that blurry texture that it had before. So all the patches they put out in the PS4 version couldn't do that. But the PS5 version has. So is that the poster just there yet? So wait for Doggy to wake up. That's the part of the PS5. What's this awesome music? Come on, doggy, nap time. Oh, tricking me, tricking me. Door textures have no limits indeed. Go, go, go. Oh, who put a bucket there? Stupid place to put a bucket. I'm getting flashbacks to trying to sneak past uh, Eric's room. Oh no, yeah, big feet or what, Anthony? Okay, we need to... <laughs> I didn't actually know I was going to walk into that bucket. I didn't even see it there. Right, okay, so we don't want to do that. Oh no, we're going to have to start the whole game again. Oh no, 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 he shakes off, he shakes off. Yeah, that's the trick. Oh, flipping heck. It's like doing the squats all over again in the gym. Hey, game, you don't say. Right, it's asleep now, so let's just make our way all the way over to the next crate. Oh, if only that was possible, Anthony. I'd put it on super, super easy dog mode. But he does his shake. He's not fooling me for a second time. Or a third time. Ha 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 ha! Stupid evil dog. Right, dodge bucket. We did it! Easy when you know how. And what do you want with that exactly? Better yet, who are you? Heard some punks have been hassling the nice people at the I happy feel like a gold trophy should be tied to that. Are you one of them? Mm -mm. So you're trying to sneak a peek at the Merc? Not that I blame you. Boy's easy in the eyes. I'll give him that much. Uh, but cut your losses, honey. Unless you like your men silent and emotionally unavailable. Merc's built a wall around himself so damn high even he can't see over it. <laughs> He'll never tell you what he's thinking. And that attitude of his. I tried to get through to him, but would he listen? Would he? Would he heck? I'm really not here for whoever he is. Then what are you here for? For, uh, directions. But I'm all good now. Thanks. Okay. So it seems these little turtle flyers have some kind of audio recording inbuilt in them. That is advanced technology. That was a close one. Okay, right. So we're now looking for a cat that runs past with a flyer. So far, I'm not seeing it. Unless it's way over here. Yeah, it is. It is serene, isn't it? It's funny. 
Okay. Where's the arena area? It is in the original as well. Culvert Street. Oh, okay. I think it's over here, is it? Yeah, some of these can be really annoying to find. Yes, I've done the dog one. First time, almost. Is it through here yet? Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for Stamp, the loyal little helper. Bow wow. I'm Stamp, the good boy who never stops helping. Uh, I don't think it is, actually. I'm not seeing it if it is. Hello, Marty. Yeah, all's well, thank you. Yeah, if you've got the PS4 version, pop your disc in, and then... You get the main game for free, but you do have to... The PS5 game for free, but you do have to pay. I think it's about 20 or 30 of whatever currency you've got uh, in order to pay for it. So I think it's about 20 pounds or something, or 20... Yeah, 18 pounds, Serene says, if you're in the UK. Okay, so it's not over here. Okay, I came to the wrong place. Yeah, I'm looking for these flyers. But I have no idea where Cuthbert Street is. Or Culvert Street. It's an open arena-like area. Okay. Okay, there it is. There it is. I remember the arena-like area now. Oh, I couldn't actually go up that ladder, J-Tand. I did try, but it it had like a mark on it saying I couldn't. Okay, I guess these cats just like to chew on paper. Yeah, I'll try and go back and get that material then if we can. Oh, there's a chest there as well. Nope. Got the wrong cat. Uh, why do you all have to look the same? <laughs> oh, no. It's, oh, yeah, it is a chest. But also the flyer as well. Gotcha. Okay, well, that's another flyer. And what have we got in here? Oh, yeah, I can see you can't actually open things, can you? That's why we couldn't look the ladder while the music's playing. Right, so we'll head back over to the ladder. But before we do that... Let's just go and grab the next one. Uh, no, actually, before we do that, because we have to... Going a bit of a detour for the next two. So I'm going to head back to the doggy area now. And we'll head up the ladder and grab that material that we couldn't get before. Right, so now we can head up here. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, is that... A oh, it's yellow. Thought it was red then. Summon or something, but Orb of Chakra. Not too bad. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way towards the entrance of town. 
We've got two more of these flyers to go. We're looking for the bulletin board. I believe it's close to the entrance, isn't it? Around here somewhere. Okay, cutscene first. Those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. Oh yeah, that dog was annoying, Elijah. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> hide behind the crates while it's asleep. I'm waiting, my friend. Oh, it's this guy. Roach, is it? What's he doing here? Yeah, he can wait. Here's the bulletin board. Oh, okay, Serene. Was that when we got the Turtles Paradise thing from the cats, was it? Do you mean? Okay, so the next one's near here. Okay, so a little bit out of the way, unfortunately. Bit of a strange place to put one of these flyers, isn't it, really? And we need to go to the far eastern part of the factory. Although we can follow the music. We get to hone our combat abilities, no doubt, don't we? We. Okay, sounds like it's around here. Yeah, there's the music. You have to defeat two challenging enemies. Hey, didn't we break that thing? Okay, I think we just need to keep going around and we'll get more music. Oh, okay. Blue materia as well. Yeah, I do like this weapon. Look at that. Some nice damage right there. And we get to use Sonon now as well. Twirling Lunge or Swirling Storm. Let's try some of this stuff, shall we? And there's a way as well we can combine or something. Synergized attacks. When both Yuffie and Sonon have ATB charge available. Okay, which we don't. So let's wait for that to happen. Probably be the next battle now. Break the crates. Uh, that's not it. Wow, there's a lot of crates. Keep thinking I'm seeing materia, but it's just the items. Get the feeling we're getting close to it now. Right, we're going to try this synergize thing, see what that's about. Let's try and get both party members up to some decent ATB levels. Okay. Okay, so 
Does this now mean that he will do things and we do things? I synergized Art of War. Okay. Okay, well, that's pretty powerful. Sounds like it's through here, doesn't it? Oh, these look hard. Oh, there's a purple materia as well. So we'll grab that. Okay, so we've synergized. These things are weak to ice, I believe. But we'll use Art of War for now. Oh, well, that was a waste. Yeah, Yuffie gets a lot of ATB because of her materia setup, but... So none, not so much. And we've got poisoned and all sorts of nasty stuff right now. So let's just throw an antidote onto Yuffie here. Wow. Oh, pressurized. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's go ahead. And synergized art of war. That was nice, bit of damage that time. Oh, taking a lot of damage still ourselves though. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go for Art of War again. Okay, one down, one down. This is a tough fight. Uh-oh. Been put to sleep. Yeah, Yuffie's combat's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Right, thank you for waking us up. Right, staggered. Perfect. No, synergize. Okay, so we just have to tap it to do it. Got it. And we'll do this again. This might do enough damage to kill this thing. Not quite, but it did a lot. We got it. Perfect. On to the next. Right, so the materia was the orb of first strike. Always good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Square have done a good job, actually. Oh, is that the flyer right there? Yeah, I believe it is. Okay. Yeah, we can return to Old Snapper. I believe we've done the first side quest, major side quest. And that was the location of all of them. Nice. Well, well, well. Look what the tide washed in. That's a one, two, three, and a four, five, and I can't believe it. Six. Indeed. We have a winner. Three cheers for the happy turtles. Of happy happy cheers. He really is a happy fella. Please, it was a piece of cake. Only these Midgarian dummies would find that a challenge. Speaking of which, here, for a fellow... I agree, V. We did all the rank 1 Fort Condor stuff. I haven't done the rank 2 yet, and we've just done quite a big side quest that was basically the Turtles Paradise side quest from the original game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when you face a full-fledged member of the party, that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it's enough to even bob your head to, isn't it, Anthony? Very catchy. And look at that wood texture on his sign. That is a serious improvement over the doors from the original. And we got our first trophy. So that's all tastic. Nice one. 
Uh, did we get any other reward, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. Like a material or something. Or was it just that one? Just the trophy, was it? Yeah, but yeah, first trophy. Can't be bad. I think we should save there. Yep. Yeah. Alright then, guys. I'm going to take a break, I think. So, been enjoying it, making some good progress. Yeah, apparently there's two to three hours of gameplay. I'm already two hours in, haven't really got into the story yet. I'll just speak to him again, see if there's anything new. Uh, no, there isn't. But it's worth checking. Hey, oh, Bushy, how's it going? Where did you sneak in? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to stream again either later this evening or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, I would say, because I am a bit tired now. Uh, but I might do a little bit of stuff off stream in terms of some of these Fort Condor matches. But, yeah, I am going to be doing another stream for sure this week, so. Been here the whole time. Oh. And we never knew. Well, thanks for watching, dude. And everybody else as well, of course. Yeah, so we'll pick up next time. I'll try and get some of the Fort Condor stuff done. And we'll see what comes next then. But... Haven't done much story today, for that I apologise. But there's so many distractions in these games, isn't there? I'm sure part two will be even worse. <laughs> Alright then, guys. Well, enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Yeah, take care. Bye.